few weeks ago, Ethiopia and Eritrea were bitter enemies as they had been for the past two decades. Now they are behaving as if they are the best of friends. Eritrean President Isaias Afuwerki arrived in Addis Ababa on Saturday to dancing and loud cheers. Thousands turned out in Addis Ababa under tight security to welcome him. His visit, the latest step in ending a long military standoff. I thank the people of Addis Ababa for this wonderful reception for the Eritrean president. I'm very happy to be here. These two people are now one people. Ethiopia's new Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed made a similar visit to Eritrea's capital last weekend, where he was welcomed by Afawurki with hugs and laughter. The 42-year-old Abiy broke the ice last month by fully embracing a peace deal that ended a 1998 to 2000 border war that killed tens of thousands and left families separated. Since then, Eritrea and Ethiopia have agreed to restore diplomatic, trade and transportation links. And to the delight of families who have been separated by the dispute, they will reopen embassies, flight routes and direct telephone lines. The sudden change in relations is surprising many but it's just the beginning of what could be a long peace process. Both sides will also need to follow through on their commitments. This week, Ethiopia submitted a request to the United Nations to lift sanctions on Eritrea in a show of good faith. Mohamed Adou Al Jazeera, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.